like yelling, that. and he's not waking up. Yeah. You I literally what? had to get up out of the tub and go tap him. Was like, so you didn't hear me yelling at you that I failed. And you know then he jumped mean? up. That mean, that mean, that mean, that he really loves you. Anyway. Yeah. Change well, he loves you at that point. But anyway, moving forward. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take a hard, hard, hard left. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, <laughs> actually, right. But I know. I'm just kidding. That. That. I do that all the time. We have university. You know what I'm saying? How you do it, White Side? Do it for the people. Oh, how I do it? Yeah. I just did it. Okay, cool. All right. So. Either way, even in his shooting and shit, having a good conversation, just, you know, all over the board with the conversation. Level. But I actually had a genuine question. Oh, okay. And um, it's something that I encountered over the past couple of days or weeks or so. And I'm actually happy to be in the building with two mm-hmm. women who I admire and respect and who I think are beautiful and have good characteristics. So I really wanted to get some feedback and ask you guys about this particular question. Is that okay with y'all? It's got a lot of parts to it. Huh? Yeah, a lot of parts to it. It doesn't necessarily have a lot of parts to okay. it, but it's something is is it's, it's really simple. Okay. But it's something that I will admit that I've encountered personally. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be schooled right now. Is it okay? Can y'all school me? Help me out. We'll try. Help me be a better you version to, of myself. Do you want to I'm, learn I'm first? Always, I'm yeah. always open to learning. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's my motto? Be better. Because if you ain't trying to be better, then what the fuck are you trying to be? That's my motto. You okay. Feel me? So what's the question? So my question is this. You know what I'm saying? And it can, it, it, I don't, I don't want to come across as being inappropriate or provocative because I may run for Congress one day. But at the same time, I want to ask this question. Excuse me. It is. So don't bring this shit up if I do. But either way, so I had this thought, right? Like I said, and I was observing some, some things, right? So I was thinking, right, if you're dealing with a dude, and this is a question for either one of you guys, you're dealing with a dude, right? At what point do you become exclusive? Is it after you have sex? Is it a conversation that has to be had? Is it a certain situation is it a feeling like what exactly takes place within a what I would call a dealing ship with a person where you start to get to the point where you say this is mine mine with no s yeah I'm sorry <laughs> mine mine with no s my apologies you know what I'm saying I mean cause when you say well see let me break it right what does exclusive mean because your exclusive and my exclusive can mean two different things. So, I guess the, the way to sum it up is, for me, it has to be a conversation. Never assume anything for me. If you don't sit down and physically ask me when we had this conversation and it's laid out, then I'm going to assume that we're just, you're you and I'm me and we're talking. So, a conversation is mandatory from your perspective? Yeah. Okay. I'm never going to assume anything. Wait a second. I don't, I don't want to. You to go too long, but I want to get peachy peach opinion you know, on this as well. Well, I'm gonna to have to agree with Ashley in the situation, and this conversation is not necessarily a timeline, whether it's okay. before sex or after sex or whatever. Mm-hmm. Whenever you have that conversation, it's mm-hmm. when y'all are exclusive. Yeah, mm-hmm. and as Ashley said, you can't assume anything. So, specifics are important, like, I have to look all right. Am I the only person you're dealing with? Are we gonna only be dealing with each other? Okay, I think because that goes that. back to that. What was the other week about the expectations, or what you said that um, you said it's when we have those. What is the thing she said? Um, so he was saying they have unrealistic expectations or something. No, like that. he was she like said. she felt entitlement. He was like the entitlement. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> those things. Don't really matter if I'm not your if I'm not yours and you're not mine, then it don't really matter. Okay. So as a man, if I say to you, then I'm feeling you, I have other women who I'm dealing with, who I'm cool with, but I'm feeling you and I'm trying to rock with you, then where does that put you? That you just said that and everything's still the same? It's still the same? You're not exclusive. You're not exclusive. You're not exclusive to you. So, and it's ironic you say that because another guy has asked me that just because you feel me, but you're still dealing with other people. So that's not exclusive. So do he need to physically in front of you cut everybody off? Or do he need to just say, look, 
I'm I'm out the window with them. Not physical. I mean, I don't. You don't need to show me anything. Like, but again, inside. But are you secure knowing that these other women are that these other women were there, or could it possibly been there? Ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah, that. Like you said, you don't have nothing to do with it. But if you if you are vocalizing to me that you want to rock with me and you're going right. to take everybody else off, I can only take that word until you give me a reason not to take that word. So, at that point, you're exclusive, but you can't say in the same breath, I want to rock with you, but I got all these other people I'm dealing with. That's not a definition of exclusive. But you're what if, okay, so let me ask this question. No, no, I'm going to ask this question. What if by me expressing something, I'm not, I just want to be clear, this is me, I'm just asking general questions, but I'm a, I'm saying such in hopes that you feel how I feel, so that it would influence me or inspire me to X all the rest out. So you're saying you want me to like match? You want you want? I want to make sure that we on the same playing field. So you just if throwing I a bone you, out there? I mean, I'm throwing a bone, and we can both eat that motherfucker. No, no. no. <laughs> you about to let me come around? For <laughs> Wait a minute, because so, I don't like that. Don't feel me or you not. Right. Whether right. I'm feeling you or not, if you feel that way and you're ready to speak on it, that's say it. Because that sounds like a fear rejection on your part. Mm-hmm. You scared. If she doesn't feel the same way you feel, like again, like you said, you putting a bone out there. Right. Like if you can cut them off, you can cut them off. I will say this, and this again, I hate to have to keep saying this. Shit. You don't have to keep. This is not about me. <laughs> But I've known, because I talk to my guys. I talk to my guys a lot, for real, for real. And dudes be feeling like, sometimes, sometimes dudes be feeling like, I'm going to put, they don't, don't want to put all the eggs in one basket, basically. You know what I'm saying? And it's a fear of, if I do put all of my eggs in one basket, and then this person doesn't feel the same way that I feel about them, then I'm left with egg on my face. But the thing about love is we talk about this all the time. I've said this. Now, my motto is this. Love is a chance. I mean, love come with pain and pain come with love. Like, you can't have one without the other. And if you're going to jump out there, then you got to either jump. Like, you can't be scared to jump off the cliff. Like, either you're going to jump or you're not. I say, I agree. I agree. Yeah, but, yeah. But that's why I say I'm not talking for me. But that's something they need to deal with internally. Yeah. Because that's another way to lose the actual person that you, quote, unquote, are feeling. Yeah, I'm but feeling a couple, you, but I'm dealing with these other people. But a couple of minutes ago, and I'm not going to go into detail about it too much, but y'all mentioned how, you know, being out here is dating is hard. You know what I'm saying? And even from a woman's perspective, y'all mentioned how hard it was, how, you know, you get out here and you get to deal with these men and things go a little left. It's like, damn, I was here, but what the fuck am but I see, here you for? Said, you, you know what I'm saying? You, we said dating, right? Yeah, That's getting I mean, to know they, somebody. They, it's all a part of the process, is it not? Am I yeah, wrong? but what you just said is to a point where we've been dating for a while now. You're feeling me. If you're like, feeling, feeling like, me. you know what I'm saying? Like, because when you, to me, I took it as like you're feeling me because you're trying to see if it's talking about feeling me in a different, like, take it to another level. I mean, you're talking just, about. Like, what, if it's, it's, what if we not dating for a while? What if we only dating for a month and a half? And I'm like, damn. Well, you just, I think that's you a, still need to be open and honest. Don't just say a statement to see if they're feeling the way if, a certain mm-hmm. way. Like, Ask them how they feel. Like, don't just hype a bit, I'm feeling you, but I got other people. I want to rock with you. Like, just go ahead and say what Cause it's gonna be to say. Right. Because it's going to be, a, for me, if you don't say, I'm feeling you and I'm trying to date you exclusively, if you don't say those words, I don't need you to tell me that you're dating other females or whatever. Because guess what? Until you say that we're boyfriend girlfriend, you know, right? I'm gonna do what I'm doing, <laughs> whatever she just. Okay. I'm gonna fellas, do what I'm gonna do. And that fellas, they in these streets, huh? None. And I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna go up on me. They like in these streets. Nah, 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 nah. I'm, I'm just playing. playing. I'm just playing. I'm not. Uh, I'm nah, not. they ain't in them streets. You know what I'm saying? But nah, this is just a good conversation. I no, I mean, and you just can't. Until you say those words, I don't need the extra part. Like so, if you tell me you're feeling so, me, that's so cool. So a conversation is definitely mandatory. Yeah. That's the first thing, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to so, those exact words I said, I'm ready to take this to the next level. I'm trying to be exclusive when we date each only each other. So do women get, I guess, agitated? I don't know if I want to use that term or not. Do women get agitated when a man speaks on the other women that he? 
it's something that bothers y'all. It don't bother me, but this is what I've learned is we we can for I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say for me, I'm not gonna say for most people. It doesn't bother me. But I know for a personal thing, but then I can't speak about other niggas to you because you can't handle it. Okay? <laughs> you can't handle it. They can't handle it. Um, it's a whole, you'll say it don't bother you, but it bothers you, and you can't handle it. You can't handle the same I mean, type I've of stuff I can handle. I've already said that women are the superior beings. I've said that shit forever. You know what I'm saying? It's, this is nothing new on my behalf. I definitely feel like women are stronger, smarter, Mm -hmm. more intelligent, whatever, whatever, however the fuck you choose to break it down. I think that women are the superior being. Mm -hmm. I mean, me being raised by a strong black woman, I just think, you know what I'm saying, that's just kind of the way it's set up. Men, we lead with ego too much. Yeah. Yeah. So in a lot of situations where, um, like you said, we can't take this and we can't take that, that's because our ego hurt. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying, like, so to answer your question, no, it doesn't bother me. It it doesn't bother me if it's, like, in a whole, like, are you saying it to get back at me and say some type of, like, you know what I'm saying, like, what's your purpose of discussing them with me? If we're in that spot, we can talk about them because they don't belong to me. It, don't, it just personally doesn't bother me. But when I come to say the same thing to you, it either I can tell by the way you act, you get all it's few, turned it's, off. It's few real, few real men out here. That can play their position, man. Who would be like, all right, bet this what we doing? All right, cool. This what Thank we doing. You. you know what I mean? Like, Ooh, it's, say it it's again. not a lot. Play of, your what? Play our position. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of dudes. Like, I mean, because their ego, man, that thing real. You know what I'm saying? So I already know, but I mean, just, you gotta be able to play your position. You know what I'm saying? And niggas, niggas get a little selfish out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When they be hitting it, they be saying, "This my pussy," knowing it ain't their pussy. And then on top of that, knowing that this ain't the girl dick who they giving it to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't about to go into detail because y'all ain't about the motherfucking Derrick Jackson me. Ooh. But. <laughs> but in any case, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I totally understand what it is or what it ain't. You know what I mean? So, I understand. But I just be curious about certain things like that. You know what I mean? Because. And I, I said this a couple of days ago. And if y'all feel the need to attack me for it, you can do so. But I just feel like there's a high percentage of women. <laughs> yeah, it's a high percentage <laughs> okay. of women that's hard of hearing. I feel like they go both ways. I feel uh, like we do a lot of talking. And man, I feel like uh, we just be talking and it just don't nobody. It's like... I mean, it's a difference between talking and saying, yo, clean the room or take out the trash, and I ain't do it. Nah, fuck all that. So that don't matter? Not in the big picture scheme of shit. Oh, okay. So, okay. So who's going to do it? I mean, I don't know you talking to a nigga who take out his own trash. I don't know. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like. I'm your neighborhood That's my thing, though. You you turned it off because you felt like it wasn't important. So now you're downplaying what I'm feeling like. And our household is not me. important. You got me. Like, you got me. I learned that in therapy. You got me. Like that's that's. You definitely got me. You I not can't. validate what I'm saying. You want me to listen to you, but I'm saying things important to our household. Well, fuck all that though. You got me, but at the same time, I'm more so t- thinking about the context within the dating scheme, nigga. If we dating, I ain't taking out your goddamn trash. Fuck all that. I mean, it'd be a nice gesture, but what? Oh no, Peach! Come on, talk to me. Look, Peach got I'm something to say. Saying, what up? Talk to me. What, what you about to what say? What's the issue with taking the trash out? If I'm not saying it's an dating, issue. And you eating the food issue. in the house? And you put trash in that trash can? You take the damn trash out. Not even that. If you see it's something that's typically, if you all were in the same household and it needs to go out, why can't you help me? I didn't say I wouldn't. You just say you like the not, the not like like okay. If I come over. I'm saying, okay, if I come to your spot, right, mm-hmm. and your trash is full, I if I do, cool. But if I don't, it shouldn't be a problem. That's what I meant by the statement I made. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not going to expect just saying, you to. Okay, fuck yeah. your trash. Fuck. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That. But that's that's the context in which I'm speaking of. Okay, okay yeah. I don't, I, mean? I don't expect you to. But yeah. but if, it, if you do, like, oh, that's nice. Because in my mind, it's like, hmm, you care about... 
working as a partner or a team with me in the household. Right. So just, right, 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 right. Now, if I'm dating you, and this is something that I actually, I, I, did I say this out loud? I think I may have said this out loud before. I was like dating and loving with intentions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's something that's really, really big. You know what I'm saying? So, in a person who is dating with intentions or whatever, like if I come to your house and I see your shit a little fucked up, your trash running over, you ain't got to ask me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because damn, my intentions is to show you where I'm at or where I'm trying to go at. You know what I'm saying? And that's something simple. You know yeah. what I mean? So, even down to it, like if I come to your spot and we sitting in there watching a movie and you cook dinner for me while we watching a movie after we eat dinner, Watch the dishes. Mm, say it again. That's a whole nother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because those are making moves with intentions, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. my intentions aren't just actions based off of what I see before me. My intentions are to show you that these are the actions that I'm willing to choose to go forward. So you with. feel like? Do you feel like moving forward, like that's that's where you are in life right now? Is you gonna be dating with intentions, or are you just dating? Am I dating with intentions? Mm-hmm. If I'm inspired to do so. Inspired? Yes, I have to be inspired to do so. It's funny, what does that mean? I need to be inspired. I mean, you know the definition of inspired, right? Inspiration. So what what inspires you to... I mean, I mean, I need a list, you know what I mean? I need a list? Why do you need a list if you're telling me what inspires you? No, I'm saying I have a list. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I you have a list? down the list okay. of, you know oh, what I'm saying, okay. things. I mean, I mean, I touched on it a couple of things, a couple of shows before where I, I, a healthy fear is something that inspires mm-hmm. me. You, did say that. you know what I'm saying? Like, I want my woman to know, like, I fucks with you, I love you, and I'm also afraid of you because I'm not necessarily afraid of what you could do to me, but being afraid that if you're not in my life, then my life won't be the same. So mm-hmm. I got to make sure that I'm on point with my shit. So, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's a, it's a plethora of things that can go into something of that nature. But, you know, yeah. But, uh, you know, that's something I wanted to touch on, man, because I